YouTube. We're back for another recap episode of Legend of Korra. I'm your host, Parker. Right here, we got Mr. Eight Bars. Yes. So we're picking up the pieces of what's going to happen to the last episode of Korra. And uh, this episode was interesting. Uh, oh, yeah. One, I would have to say, my main pick, uh, picky thing, I would, you know, put out because... You know, we just left, you know, um, what is it, Zafu? No. Zafu. Zafu. So we just left Zafu. You know, Korra didn't win against uh, against Kavira. And <laughs> you you see everybody just hanging out. Yeah. Doing tours and stuff like that. And you see Korra with, with the dog. I can't even think of his name. Naga. Naga. Her name. Her name. Oh, is it? I never knew that. I thought Naga was a... Oh, well. I learned something. <laughs> but uh, you see her playing with Naga on the steps. And you got Opal coming up. She's upset. And, you know, rightfully, you know, so. With just, you know, what's going on right now. And you get the dumbest question to ever ask somebody in Opal's position. And it comes from Korra. What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong, Opal? Opal, like, uh... Heffa, do you not remember what just happened? And what you didn't do? And what's going on with my family right now? Like, Her family's trapped. Trapped. Imprisoned. She, you know, could be tortured and, and starving to death. You don't know. And you're going to ask this poor girl, who's the only one out of her family that's with you, what's wrong? While you're playing with your dog. The only one of her family not in jail. Right. Like. She knows that. It's just. That that irked me a little bit. And I think. So for the rest of the episode. You see that everyone else. Don't really want to mess with Cora anyway. Because they try to have the meeting to. Try to prevent Cora. I mean Kovera. And Cora wasn't invited at all. She. Nobody, nobody told her, hey, come to the meeting. They went they invited, as... Yeah. They invited Wu. Wu, of all people. Like, Over Korra. She even pointed out, you invited him? <laughs> but not me. And he's talking about, give her allergies. Yeah, like, the hell? But at the same time, it's like, I kind of understand they kind of lost... I feel like they lost faith in Korra. You know, she didn't get the job done. Yeah. And you see what's going on now. And and that's I, understandable. It's understandable. I feel for what they do. Right? Because she is the avatar. But she has been screwing up. Yeah. Just, she has been screwing up and they're looking at that. Like, you know, no, we're not talking about what you had done for us before. But what have you done for us lately? <laughs> we're looking at right now and what you screwed up at right now. <laughs> You know, I think that's what they're looking at. Even Tencent was in the meeting, like, uh... Yeah, Tencent. <laughs> saying, sorry. He just ninja up out of there, like... Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't tell where I'm going. It, <laughs> but we do get to see, um, the daughter of, uh... Zuko's Zuko, daughter. Zuko's Fire daughter. Lord Azumi. She looked cool. She looked cool. I mean, we saw her before. Yeah, but... And she... Now she, had, she actually spoke... But I feel like they, 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 you know, she looked just like her aunt to me, Zuko's um, sister. She looked, she reminded me, especially with the outfit, it's the same yeah. outfit, so it kind of gave you that look of, you know, her her aunt, so. Um, to me, she looked more like her grandmother. Really? Ah. Oh, yeah, but you read the comics. But I, yeah, yeah so I read that from the comics. I never read so. the comics, so I'm, I'm working on it. was a little it. flashback in the original. Right. But... In the comics, is more detailed. But, okay, okay. But that's just to me. Family resemblance. You know. it, it runs, you know, especially with the grandson, who we don't see. We haven't seen so far. Yeah, since. Since what? Early. First yeah, season? Or, second. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just, that was, you he know. He couldn't help out. Yeah, yeah. he's, you know, how, we haven't seen him since. Yeah. Um, but uh, we get, you know, them also, they were trying to explain because before we got to there, you know, you had, um, I'm so horrible with names. 
uh, Tenson's daughter, Oda's daughter, Janora. Janora, you know, because one of the things that happened with this episode is the vines are capturing people. They're like, you know, they're kind of yeah. similar to what they do with the, you know, the the bank, the banyard tree, you know, where that swamp is. Yeah, they kind of reminded me how the swamp does things. You know, like capturing people and you know doing certain things, and I mean, we I feel that that's the same thing going on. And I think maybe you know they're a threat right now. The yeah, vines are threatened. They're so, definitely threatened. So they're so, lashing out. Yeah, and they're lashing out everywhere. But I'm lashing thinking against humans. Yeah. So yes. I'm thinking, are they? They can't be the only ones like that. You know, Cora saved later on. That's been you know. Captured by the vine, so yeah, like that. that thing reaches. Yeah, it's all everywhere. The world. It's everywhere. So I mean, and if they feel threatened, they might as well. The whole thing might as well just take over the whole town. You know, the whole city. So you know, um, but Janora telling is saying to Cora, "Hey, <laughs> you don't feel that? You don't understand? You don't feel what's going on?" And Cora doesn't. She nothing. She don't feel nothing until she touched the vines and you know saw. What the vines are showing her, and it's like once again, Janora. She's a better avatar than the avatar, she and she's not it. one. Yeah, she's just so in tune with everything at such a young age. It's like wow, you are Aang's granddaughter. But she is a standout in that way because not even Tenzin get to the spirit world. Yeah, ten, yeah, and Tenzin was is so high and mighty and thinking he knows everything, and we saw. I can't even get in the spirit world, but, yeah. you know, she could. And it's like, man, I want to do it, too. I've, I've been doing this longer. Great airbender. Yeah, great airbender. Great we saw that last season. He's a good airbender. But it just can't tap into that. Yeah, the that, spiritual side. Right. Um, of the whole. We get, you know, them trying to explain to everyone at the meeting. <laughs> and you get um, Varric <laughs> and Bolin show up. Saying, hey, we came all this way to tell you what's going on. And it almost got put almost away. Did. Yeah, it almost got arrested. So it was a little moment there that everybody was like a little against them, you know, because. Understandably of, so. Of their choices, you know, understandably so. But we get that moment of Team Avatar, you know, reunited. Like, reunited. So that was cool to see. And But uh, Bolin and Opal, mm -hmm. he trying, he's trying to win her heart. You know, trying to get it back, but you know, Opal's like, understandably so. Like, yeah. you yeah. left, you you reneged on everything. You know, we tried to tell you, and now you're finding out. It's like you're too late. You're a little too late. So he even went and so to say, I got a broken leg and broken arm, just Trick so she her into having a picnic. Yeah, and he doesn't understand. Hey, I understand that you're hurting right now because a lot of stuff could be going on. But how about we have a picnic? She's not in a picnic mood right now. She's she's more like take action. Something needs to be done mood. And and I think that's what everybody else is like on. Like everybody just chilling out while Opal and um, I can't even say tough daughter Lynn Lynn is like we need to go save our family. But did Bolin even know? Was he arrested at the time? About what? About about uh, Opal's family well I, I don't think no he wasn't arrested at the time it's just the fact you remember the, the conversation that when they was all in okay, the room yeah and he tried to the, yeah. Okay, yeah and she was like you don't know what's going on after they leave and he's you know because she was trying to he was they trying to put him in an inner circle and he's like no i know yeah. i know what goes on not knowing that he you know still doesn't know what's going on he's not there and she's trying to tell him Listen to me. I'm your girlfriend, you idiot. <laughs> like, there's a reason I'm telling you this. You know, I'm not blowing smoke. But yet, he's a naive guy. Yeah. Super nice, but super naive. And I felt bad for him, too, because he was like, I didn't know. Yeah, but so he was working hard. Idiot. Yeah, he was working hard. I think he was doing something right and found out that it was all wrong. Yeah. And, yeah, that's... But you got Varric has to work together with... Uh, Asami. Asami to have a counter weapon uh, to whatever uh, Kavera is trying to do. That's going to be interesting. Yeah. That's going to that's gonna be another uh, opposite, 
you know, friendship type of thing I think might happen. It's like, even though they pointed out, oh, you try to do this, you try to do this, you try to do this. He's like, allegedly. <laughs> okay, people, allegedly. It, I mean. Never proven. Never proven, no, never no. Proven. Never tried. Allegedly. Um, I, I feel like, once again, it's got, it's going to have another, a uh, very bowling, but it's going to be a sound yeah. and, and very, you know, let's see how that works, you know. You realize Korra is one of the weakest, weak-minded avatars. Yeah. Like, she has so much self-doubt about herself. She's one of the most powerful, she is the powerful, the most powerful being right now yeah. in in the world. She has that, yips. Yeah, and she, yeah, she has yips. And even though the, the, the poison is out, it's just, she has the yips and... You know, she has this whole mental block thing, you know, it's just like, that she feel that she can do it, but she really can. And then it, it even took for her to go see her worst enemy mm. to date, you know, to go and figure out what's wrong with her. And I guess that's what sometimes you have to do. And, you know, even with uh, Toph telling her before, you know, what did you learn from these, you know, each yeah. villain? And she even had it. She had to go to the source, you know, and thinking, "Hey, you ain't gonna do this. You're not. You're not controlling me." And he's like, "I'm not doing nothing." Sit here. Sit here is like I'm just floating in the air. I ain't doing nothing. You came to me, you know. But he, once again, he's dropping these these tokens of knowledge to her, and she's like, "I don't understand. What are you saying?" And he just, I can't do that. He just had to show her. Yeah, he and had to hold her hand and walk her through it. Yeah, and and the thing is, when she told him about what's you know all his actions that making things going to where it is right now with Kavira, he even even he was like, "Oh, yeah, damn, I did fucked up. <laughs> I don't fucked up." That's, <laughs> yeah. not, that's not what he wanted. Anyway. No, he he wanted equality, he wanted complete freedom. For yeah, everybody, everybody, and he didn't want what she's doing. You know, she he he, he he like that wasn't a plan. That oh shit, oh damn. Okay, we gotta work together. Even even he's saying we gotta do this. You need to, you need to get out of this punk. Yeah. Like he he was like you need to stop her. So I'm gonna help you. But when when it's all over, it's back to us again. You know. But you know. Uh, but he looked so shoveled and you know with the. Gray hair and the long. I, I like him like that though. But in a weird way, he kind of was. He was just cool. He had a he had a Yoda vibe to him in a way. And like a like I don't know what I say. Toph was like a Yoda. He had like an Obi Wan, Kenobi yeah. type of thing. Like you know, and and just in a weird way, just because he's just halted off to the side. And he he just had so much wisdom about him that it was like if you listen enough, you will understand what needs to be done and. Sure enough, she did. She got to the spirit world, and who shows up? <laughs> Rava. Yeah. And what? Who, by the way, didn't leave Korra. Never left. Was there Never the left. whole time, which makes these past few episodes completely pointless, frustrating. Yeah. Well, yeah. I say what? frustrated and pointless. Yes. She was there the whole time. The whole it's, time. It was all in your mind. Yes. Come on now. I will say she's one of the weakest avatars, but at the same time, she's still young. So a lot of the avatars, you know, are, are grown ups and, you know. Aang was 12. Yeah, but Aang was the best, though. But he was a Buddhist, too, also. True, true. He was a Buddhist, so, I mean, that's another thing. The oh, the slacker airbender. We saw him last season. And he didn't want to go he didn't want to go nowhere. He wanted to stay home with his mom. In the basement. In the basement. No, I don't want to do it. Why? Because I don't have to. Why are you doing it? Like let me do it, alright? <laughs> <laughs> he even had Cora. <laughs> he even had Cora like like eager to like, to really choke him out. And you see him doing tours and stuff. And yeah. his mom and dad are like, well, at least he's out the house. You know, his his dad is more like, well, he has a job, so I don't care what he does. Like, he's not at home. He in my house no more. But mom was like, look at my boy. He's doing this. He's doing that. Like, they asked him so many questions and stuff. And he's like, come on. Let me. 
Can we slow down with the questions? Can Gosh, I, God. We, we read through my cards. He, you know what? He was like, he's a Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah. He asked what he is. He's like a yeah. Napoleon Dynamite. And it's funny that they did that because I saw the similarities there. And it's like the way his mannerisms and stuff, like he was, he's definitely Napoleon. Yeah, that's Napoleon. Yeah. So, <laughs> God, let me just do it. And they, but you see that he was trying to get away and all that stuff. He has learned some stuff. Yeah, he, he has learned some things. Not the best. He, no, no, but but he has learned. Right, he has done a. He, he, you see, he's done a lot. A lot has changed from last season to now with him. Um, yeah, he's instead of slacking off. Right, he's actually defending people. Right, and that was a big thing to me. And I, when I saw yeah. him, like, wow, he's he's still the same, but he's growing up in a way. It's just gonna take him a lot longer than others. Yeah, because yeah. he's just don't he just don't care. And he might not have been there that long. Yeah, that's true. That's another thing. But the fact that we see that they did that they do tours, it's like oh, if you go to this side, you see this this vine. And then over here, you see this vine. It's like they do tours of the spirit wilds. Yeah, of like the city spirit wilds. Wow, like oh, that that would be something to see because not everybody could go to the spirit world. Yeah, and and, and and you see the spirits, little spirits hanging out and stuff. And I guess they need some type of income, yeah. and that you know the it, for the Airbenders. So that's another thing. Um, Iowa Lord Azumi, she doesn't want no parts in Und any type of war, yeah. understandably. And she's like, um, I help y'all do this little border thing, but other than that, I'm not, I'm not gonna be messing with y'all. Yeah. But it's, it's like, dang, the Fire Nation is that? There, yeah, they're still trying to repair the whole right the whole image. Yeah, they're trying to give back to the world from what they took trying to put things right yeah and, and, I and mean it's only been 70 years so I guess yeah maybe I mean, around 100 they might start thinking okay yeah they, they just don't want to come out the gate you know throwing fireballs at people yeah. and pe you know they already have a tough you know reputation now you know for them so it's a little it's, it's harder for them to try to get over yeah. it I think it's for, it's harder for them to get over it than anybody else to forgive them. I think. True, because it still has been 70 years. Yeah. But to them, it's like, I can't believe we did this to the world. Yeah, it's 70 years to us, but it's like, just last year to them. It's like, we still, they they still punishing themselves, I feel, yeah. in a way, of what, what transpired. And, you know, some, it's just some of them, it's not their fault. It's just people before them. So, um, it just happens. Um, but I feel that they will show up later on and we'll be helping out with the airbenders and i feel like we're gonna need that especially with the i think it's gonna be all of the other airbend the other benders against the the earth empire and i think they you know if you especially if you have the fire nation on your side you might you might you you damn near you're gonna win oh yeah yeah you know and the thing is what the fire nation does don't get is that Kervera is not just trying to get over on her own empire, like in her Earth Nation and stuff. You know, she's going for the world. She's going for everything. She's going for the whole glory. You know, just it doesn't matter if you're Airbender or uh, uh, Earthbender. You going Fire Nation too? Yeah, we going to take mm -hmm. your shit too. You like it's only a matter of time, and it's yeah. better to nip in the bud now. Before it escalates to that. To another 100 years of war. Yeah. So it's like. And I think. It won't. I mean. This will show. With the Fire Nation. Like okay. The Fire Nation is helping. You know. It shows them in a different light. Like. They're trying to help. This yeah. time around. And. We. You know. We need their help. And they're doing it for us. They're helping us. And. It would. It, I think it would help them out. Saying hey. You don't have to keep punishing. Punishing <laughs> yourself. It's good. We're all good. Like you know, time to forgive yourself. You know? Yeah, you know, just do this for us. Help us out, you know, because we're all in this together because we have no choice. And they don't want to rush them into it either. No, no. I think they would be the last resort. I yeah. think that's what that's going to be. Or it's going to be last resort, or it's going to be like they might be the first in line or ready for action if, like, something happened to them from Kravira. Like, they, like, march on their land. Like, we, we here now. Like using that super weapon against them? Yeah. Like, then that cause that super weapon, that's the thing that Kavera could take out everybody. Yeah. So it's only a matter of time what, you know, Fire Nation is going to do and what Kavera wants to do towards the Fire Nation. So everybody needs to team up. Yeah. Team up. Now. An Avatar army. Ooh. 
But just think about the, the airbenders working with the Fire Nation, just the, the combinations that can happen. That's going to be some crazy... Air, Woo! fuel, fire. Yes. Yes. So. I think it would be a great combination of a fight. Okay. But, uh, so, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. All right. Bye.